Let go. Shall I do the whole curl? Let go. We'll start again. We'll start again. <laughs> I am so not scared of my children. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Are you happy? Oh, view then, my little guy. Oh. oh no. No, 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 no. What did I say? What did I say? Okay. I am so not scared of my children, except from when they're waking up from a nap. Then, a little bit scared. So, something else that can be a little scary sometimes is trying out new hairstyles. So today, I am being joined by my fabulous hairdresser, Daniel Granger. Hi guys. And he is gonna share with us some tips and tricks. Amory always asks me, what can I do with my hair at home? Today we're going to introduce you into using the flat iron and everybody usually has a set of flat irons. Yeah. If you haven't, you're living in the 80s. So first of all, we're going to section the hair off and make it very easy to use. Now I usually go from ear to ear and that's usually a nice amount of hair underneath. We can just scoop this up, give it a little couple of twists. So we're going to get the styling iron. What I tend to do, Amory, mm -hmm. is I direct it towards the floor. This will be slightly different when you do it yourself, but if you're styling a friend's hair um, or somebody else's, you can work with the, the iron directed down towards the floor so the hair falls away better. So we're going to pop the iron in there, nice and flat. Give it a gentle turn, twist with the wrist. I'm going to come out and down. Now, the reason we come down is it gives it a little bit of flick towards the edge. I'm just going to then curl that and spin that round, just like that. Now the spin on the back of it always helps because the cooling helps keep the curl. Yeah, so that's something I've definitely been doing wrong because I've been kind of shaking it out as I've been going. Yeah. That's hard. I usually tell people to <laughs> leave it alone. Okay, in again. Yeah. I'm going to spin that nice and gently. Take your time and work it down to the edges. Come up. Give it a little spin on the back end just to capture that curl. So we've got the section from ear to ear. Uh, we're going to take a section from the high crest round to the crown. We're just going to come straight through. Now sometimes it's just easier to use your little fingers coming through and section off. Give a little twist. Top section's out of the way, and we're going to work on the middle section. Okay. Now a lot of this you're going to <laughs> actually get involved in. So nice and quick and free and easy. This is great to do on little bobs as well to get that kind of little Meg Ryan tussle look. That's your next haircut, by the way. We're going to bring this in. Twist. Draw it in. Now, coming around the back is always the hardest yeah, one. Yeah, it's always the trickiest bit. So just pull it round to the front of you and try and work as high as you can. So hence why you can't have the iron that way, it has to kind of go in this okay. way. Remember, just get that half twist and then pull it down. You can pull it down to the front of you, that's okay. Because then you know it's there. And then as you twist it back, just kind of twist it back and put it round the back of your hair. So that's that half done. You ready to have a go? You should ready to have <laughs> a go. That means it's my half. <laughs> okay. I will give it a go. So, okay. one, grab an inch section. Yep, okay. Divide it from the rest. What about that? Let's have a look. Perfect. Okay. okay. Into the scalp area. There. Done. Press gently and then put a twist on it. And go down. Yep, and then just go gently down towards the end, making sure that the last bit goes in. There. Yes. And give it a twist to make sure it's all there. Give it a little, that's it. Twist it back in and let go. Look at that. 
Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Like that. If I do say so myself. Let's get that second section. And okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. So let's go again. So, in. so you I see you'll find it easier to twist it this way and bring it towards you. Yeah. This end bit that it gets a bit trickier to keep it in the keep it in there and give it a little twist at the end. So are we done? We've got one more section. This is right at the back, okay? So this is that one that everybody finds a little bit more difficult to do. So there's your section. Okay. All right, let's just go ahead. So we're gonna go over. You can go in whichever way you feel comfortable. Bring this round now. That's it, and just, yep, yeah, gently, 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 gently going through. Okay, get it, and give it a twist. Fantastic. <laughs> so last section, find your parting, uh, where you want it to sit. Uh, we're gonna go for naturally where it wants to go, which is just, it looks if it's just going to slightly over to this side. And we have these two areas at the front. I always like to leave the two front sections mm -hmm. for the last grand finale. Because okay. whichever which way we want these to go backwards or to come forwards. Um, we're going to add a little bit of heat protection. Careful not to put it over the rest of the hair. That's already done. If you don't want to add any wetness to that. You can spray this all the way through at the beginning, but I tend to find I like to do it each section so I know it's covered every single bit, especially these little front bits. We don't want the hair to break off or um, burn on overuse. Okay, right. I'm gonna make it look nice and easy now. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay in, twist, bring it down, nice and steady. Fantastic. So I'm, gonna, I'm only going to leave you a few pieces on this side. If your side turns out better than mine. <laughs> oh, it will. <laughs> Just grab them. I, I don't like seeing straight bits of hair randomly placed through the curls. So do make sure you do get them all when you're finishing the style, guys. You're up. Right, so you've only got two sections here to play with. Okay. Play with. There's your first one. Okay. Let's get a little bit more in there. Okay, so far ahead, I'll hold on to this one so we know that. Okay. That's it, so iron into the scalp area. Yep. See, I would go backwards because you want it to flow backwards. You would go this way? It's too late, too late. Keep going, <laughs> keep going, yeah, keep going. Tell me that. <laughs> keep going. We'll try it on this one. Okay. You haven't tried that way yet to see how easy that is. You see, you get the body that rolls forward onto yeah. the side, but we want You're to. You're right, run. it should have been the other way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try this one of getting it in, so you want to prep your wrist up, ready to get enough to come back. And then go yes. that way around. Yeah, try it. Okay. So make sure you overextend it this way to get enough to just do to that back. and come back. Okay. So we're going to come, make sure your wrist is in. Okay. Yeah, now twist. So that way. Yes. And then pull through and pull down and through the hair. Is it working? We missed the ends, so just do the ends quickly. Great. Now throw it, twist it, twist it, this member, this one. I think one. it's the mirror and that's going back. <laughs> it's the mirror that's Trying like to remember directed. your hands. There we go, no, that's good. Look at that. So we've got all the hair cut. So depending on whether it's the 60s or the 70s finish or whether you want it to dress the face or unopen the face up is which way you turn. So this way you would come in like a barrel curl, you'll turn it and just pull it out. Or this way you'd come in and turn it backwards if you wanted to open up or close down, so come in then. So the one we've, we're doing here is um, we're going to barrel curl under and towards the face. We're going to go in and just bring that in there. Like that, just gently. Then pull it into position as it's curling. Set the curl, give it a little bit of a bounce of where you want it to go. Just around the brow, the eye is lovely. And you see, that does that there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so first of all, okay. we're going to throw your hair 
forward. Get comfortable. This is where I fling off the stool. Get comfortable. <laughs> That's it. Throw it all down. Okay, stay there. Okay. Hands out. We're going to give them a little spray, and this is going to get the hairspray right at the roots. Okay, let that dry a little bit. Spr do that. Okay, right into the scalp area, like you're doing a little shampoo. Um, each area around the back. That's it. Keep going. Keep it rough as you like. Rough it up. You're not going to do too bad. Just get in. <laughs> get in there. Really thick. This is going to thicken out the style a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. You can see it all amplifying now. The curls are being a little bit more distressed. Not looking like they're pre-done or not looking like an Irish dancer <laughs> with the little ringlets. Which I love that look. Okay. Now stay there. Okay. We're gonna get the hairspray. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna make sure everything holds up. So this will get that. Keep and that'll maintain the body. Again a workable spray in case you've had a disaster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spray it for you while we're here. <laughs> Making it look good. Okay, okay, this is this is all down to you now. Are you ready? <laughs> the big reveal. <laughs> okay, so you flip it back and dress it to where you see fit. Okay. Okay? Go for it. <laughs> That's it. You know, it does, it gives it a lot of body, doesn't it? Just give it a lot. You see, it's just amplified that out there, but it doesn't look like you've just pre-curled all your hair. It's just got that little tussled finish, mm -hmm. a little shake to it. I'll just dress the back out a little bit for you. Just put your hands in there, like that. Work it, work that back onto the face. Do that. And that is a nice little day or evening look. Thanks for joining us today. And you might notice that I now have an updo. Well, you can check out my updo, which is Dan Fantastic website with lots of tips and tricks for your hair. And he will be back on a future episode to show us how to do this. So definitely tune back in. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. So, Amory, another great tip before you use the uh, curling wand um, is to curl the ends first. This also prevents you from burning your feet. So get that and just gently wrap it around until you kind of get it onto the edge. And you see that little plastic bit there, that's not as hot as the rest. So that will give you a little bit of curl just to start with to help it hug.